one, I'm Dawn from Live Global Investors. In this presentation, I'll be walking you through the key features and value propositions of the Live OCBC Securities Hansing Tech ETF. So, what's the ETF all about? Simply put, it's an easy, efficient, and affordable way for investors in the region to capture the growth potential of the 30 largest tech related companies listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. This ETF is an exclusive collaboration between Lime Global Investors and OCBC Securities. We come together as partners, each bring a unique set of skills, experience, and resources as we work towards our common goal of providing quality investment solutions to our clients. This neatly summarizes the key features of the ETF. To set the stage, it tracks the Hang Seng Tech Index that comprises of the 30 largest tech-related companies listed in Hong Kong. It is a replication, which means the investment result will correspond closely to the performance of the Hang Seng Tech Index. An 8% weightage cap is applied on individual securities to prevent overexposure of any single stock. The index is also rebalanced quarterly, that is in March, June, September and December. The index also has a very unique IPO fast entry mechanism that allows sizable newly listed tech companies to be included in the index without having to wait for the quarterly review. Last but not least, you can trade it in two currencies, Sing dollars and US dollars. Now moving on to index design and construction methodology. Here, I'll just touch on some of the broader and more important points. The index consists of Greater China Incorporated stocks that have high business exposure to five key themes. That's fintech, internet, cloud computing, digital technology, and e-commerce. These companies must also be tech-enabled that is primarily operating on an internet or mobile platform. Have an R&D expenses to revenue ratio of greater than or equal to 5% and or revenue growth greater than or equal to 10%. In totality, the 30 largest stocks that meet this criteria are then selected to form the index. So here are the top 10 constituents of the index. We have names like Sunny Optical, Alibaba Group, Tencent, Mei Huan Dianping, Xiaomi and JD.com. Here, you can also see the approximate sector breakdown of the index. So here's the juice. Why the Lime OCBC Securities Hang Seng Tech ETF? Here we will delve into the key value propositions of the fund. So here are four key points for you. First, you get to invest and participate in the growth of the Chinese tech leaders. Second, you achieve diversification by investing in a basket of names. Third, there's this unique IPO fast entry mechanism that I spoke of earlier. Last but not least, this ETF gives you an affordable and easy way to invest in the fast-growing Chinese tech sector. Over the past decade, we have seen business models evolving in the direction of digital. The COVID-19 pandemic has certainly turbocharged some of these trends. In the payment world, everything can be cashless now. For transport, we have Grab and Gojek here. In China, they have Didi Chuxing that's considering a listing in Hong Kong next year, targeting a valuation of more than 60 billion. E-commerce in China, absolutely thriving. Today, China has the largest digital buyer population in the world. And in 2019, the e-commerce sales in China has surpassed the total of debt of US and Europe combined. Traditionally, the Nasdaq has always been a very appealing place for these Chinese tech giants to list. However, over the past year, the risk of worsening US-China relations have accelerated the so-called homecoming of these Chinese tech players. We have seen successful secondary listings in Hong Kong from names like Alibaba, JD.com and NetEase. With investors' interest coming in strong, they have now inspired other Chinese companies to follow suit. There are currently 28 companies that are eligible to seek secondary listing in Hong Kong. We have names like Pintuoduo, Baidu, Tencent Music, Xindongfang, ITE. Basically, a solid pipeline of well-regarded names. Indeed, China has the world's largest number of unicorns, and all this simply represents the massive upside potential of the Hang Seng Tech Index. As you can see here, the back-tested data of the Hang Seng Tech Index has shown clear outperformance versus that of the Nasdaq. Now moving on to diversification. As we know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. 
The index consists of 30 stocks, each being kept at 8%. So this basically lowers the volatility of your investing. So what exactly does it mean? Should you invest in a single constituent of the index, for instance, Xiaomi, Baba, or Tencent, the average volatility of each of these names stand at about 59.6%. However, if you put these 30 tech names into a basket, it brings down your volatility to around 37%. Bottom line, investing in an ETF such as this brings down your overall investment risk. So now on to the fast entry rule. It basically facilitates the fast track inclusion of qualified potential members without having to wait for the quarterly review. In this way, you will not miss out on a potential winner. This ETF is classified as an excluded investment product and you can invest using either cash or SRS. With less than $20, the future of technology is now within your reach today. This illustrates that buying the ETF is way cheaper than buying all 30 names in the index or even just the top 5 guys. Now, coming to the most important part of my presentation, how to get started. You can place your order in the following ways. During IOP that runs from 23rd November to 7th December, you can place your order through the following participating dealers, OCBC Securities, DBS Vickers, UOP Kian, Philip Securities, or IFAS Financial. Alternatively, if you need a little bit more time to decide, you can do it after listing on 10th of December. You can trade on the SGX through your stockbroking firms, both online and offline, or through your regular saving plan, that is OCBC Blue Chip Investment Plan. Here's how you can get in touch with us. Thank you very much for your time.